When you write an SQL statement and send it to the database, the database compiles that statement into executable code before running it. This compilation process actually has enough overhead that the database keeps compiled statements in a cache, so if you send the same SQL statement again, the database can use the same compiled version instead of compiling it all over again. Now suppose you had a mechanism where you could include variables in an SQL statement and you send the same statement again with just the variables changed and the database could use the same compiled version with the new variables. You can do this by creating a prepared statement instead of simply creating a statement. This is one of those nice circumstances where the code is simpler and it's more efficient at the same time. This program creates a prepared statement and uses it to update the database twice. Now this is all very similar to what we've been doing before. Here you see that the database is opened, the contents of the table is displayed both before and after a couple of updates, then the database is closed. Notice here in the open method a prepared statement object is created. Now the arguments to it are the same as the ones that are used to create a regular statement object, but one argument has been added. The first one is the text of the SQL statement itself. Now notice here, inserted in the SQL statement are question marks. They're the placeholders for the parameters that will be inserted later. They're identified by their positions. The first one is number one, the second one is number two and they have to be filled in before the command can be used. This is the same show table method that was in the previous example except this one creates its own statement object and uses it to read the database. And since it was open just for this method, it's closed at the end of the method. Now this close isn't absolutely necessary because it will be closed automatically and it's only used for reading anyway but it's always safer to sort of keep things cleaned up. This method uses the prepared statement. Remember, it was created with the SQL statement already inside it, so it's just a matter of inserting the values into the two parameter positions. Now, the first one is a string, so the setString method is called. The first question mark is identified by being number one. The second argument is the string that's going to be inserted. Now, the second question mark represents a column that is an integer, so setInt is called. Then the call is made to execute update without any arguments. There is no argument to pass because everything has been defined. And here is the exact same thing being done all over again, just using the same prepared statement with different arguments. You can keep this prepared statement around and use it as often as you wish. It's sometimes convenient to make up a batch of prepared statements and use them as you need them throughout the program. The Make Animal Table program has been run to create a new table. This is what the program looks like when it runs. And there you see how it has updated the database. Now I know that a clam really doesn't have a leg, it's called a foot, but it was the only thing I could think of with just one.